ben Ulrike Nagel. Welkom bij de uitzendingen vanaf de Hannover Messen. We staan hier in hal 16 op het Nederlands paviljoen. En zijn hier vier dagen lang met uitzendingen achter de schermen, maar ook live interviews. Nu staat naast mij Peter Kersjens van Edit Contract Manufacturer BV. It's a whole mouthful, but what do you do? Edit is an is a international active uh, contract manufacturer, subcontractor, and uh, we develop and produce and assemble precision sheet metal parts, frames, assemblies, modules, machines, and apparatuses for OEMs in Europe. It sounds really technological, but what kind of machines use these, these sheets? Yeah, we, we are uh, very broad oriented, but um, the most important markets are, for example, the medical market. Uh, then you must think about uh, an analytical machines for doing blood samples. Or you can, uh, can think of um, uh, parts for uh, energy, uh, the energy market. You can think of uh, gaming machines. You can think of uh, modules and apparatuses uh, in uh, the printing and the money handling system uh, machines. Very broad. So your products um, usually are uh, used in great fabric holes where they make stuff. Yes, now our, 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 the, our parts which we deliver are mo mostly uh, three by three meters maximum. So, okay. so it's, it's, it's high mix, low volume and high precision. So not the very big stuff and not the really thick stuff, but the thin stuff, which, uh, which has a, a high quality and also a high a visual quality of the product. And very important. Yes, when, uh, <laughs> when our, our modules don't function, then uh, nothing functions. The whole functions, machine <laughs> doesn't work. Then our customer has a big problem. You're based in Venlo, the Netherlands, and it's, it's really at the border. Yes. So I assume one of your first countries to look at is Germany when selling your products. Yes, the owner of the company started uh, the company 30 years ago and um, he chose uh, Venlo as a starting uh, of the company because, of course, Germany is in our backyard, we say. Um, uh, North Rhine-Westfalen has an econ economy which is even bigger than the whole Dutch economy. So um, we went in Germany right away and, uh, and we are very successful there over the last 30 years. Yes. Yeah. How much of your business relationships uh, are in Germany? Almost 50% uh, of our uh, gross revenues we, uh, we sell in, uh, in Germany. That's a lot. That's a lot, but uh, it's also a big country and uh, they are very successful in the uh, world uh, export markets. So it's, it's for us, it's, uh, it's, it's a good country to do business with. Uh, usually they say it's the other way around. The German make things and the Dutch sell, but you also make something. Yes, that's a big, a big uh, misunderstanding. Yeah. Um, uh, also this morning in a presentation I gave, I uh, again uh, focused uh, everybody on it that Germany, uh, th that uh, the Netherlands is a, is an industry nation, and, yeah. uh, and, and because um, um, people don't realize that uh, we are the biggest investor, for example, in uh, in the USA and Russia, the biggest European investor in, in Russia and the USA. The Netherlands is the second biggest investor in Germany, European investor in Germany. And of course, uh, um, uh, we are the, uh, the, the second uh, highest exporter to Germany. Yeah. So um, the Dutch industry is very big and very broad oriented. And uh, it's a pity that um, still the world doesn't know. And uh, we hope to change that uh, during this affair. Yeah, you are here at the Hannover Messe also to talk on the suppliers convention or you already talked on the suppliers yes, convention? Yes, I, I, I just come from there. I, oh, okay. I, I, I talked there uh, this morning, yes. And also about uh, Germany and the Netherlands. Together they are world class, some people say. Why is that? Now, Germany, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, is, is a very, very big in industrial nation and uh, uh, has, um, has access to the world export market. The, the Netherlands doesn't have that. Um, so you really need the Germans? Yes, we need, the, we need the Germans to, to get access to that uh, world export market and we think that the Germans need us uh, uh, for our innovative, creative and uh, flexible uh, way of um, innovating business. Yeah, and is this why you're here? That is why we're here, why we're here um, with a lot of companies. Uh, uh, we are presenting uh, our nation uh, in this mess uh, um, with, I believe, uh, about 180 uh, representatives. And um, I hope uh, that we can go into the next step. And um, 
yesterday evening uh, our Prime Minister Mark Rutte uh, spoke very well and uh, I think uh, there are a lot of possibilities for, uh, for, the, for uh, the Dutch and the German industry to uh, co cooperate more together and to, uh, to make sure that the innovation which we need to, uh, to be competitive with the emerging markets, that this innovation will, uh, will be um, um, accelerated. Yeah, but do you think there is still growth? Because uh, there are, some, are there things that can still grow? Because there is a lot, a lot of uh, stuff already is there. There are some new developments, but is there enough space to do more trade, even more selling or trade with Germany? I think there is. Uh, uh, um, again, uh, when we look at, at the European market, uh, maybe there is a, a bit of a decline, but also there will be, uh, that will be uh, developing in the, in the next few years, and that also countries in, uh, in Eastern Europe and so on will, uh, will also be prosperous and, and develop themselves. But I think uh, we as Europe have a lot of chances to be uh, competitive and to, uh, to gain our place in the emerging markets, um, and uh, so that we don't lose the battle over there. And uh, I think we can do that together. It seems like a good base. Yes. Together, Germany Absolutely. and Netherlands. Thank, thanks you. Thank you. Okay. Have You're a welcome. lot of fun still here at the Hannover Okay. Thank you very much. Wij gaan door zo meteen met nog meer interviews hier live, maar ook met reportages vanaf de rest van de halle. Dus blijf kijken.